Today, Tiptoe and I are bringing you guys a very long overdue q and I'm gonna place some food down here for Tiptoe and let me lower our camera a little bit. We're working on angles here and we're working on how do we, how do we all, you know, oh, that's perfect, okay. How you doing? Oh, this is perfect. Okay, he's a good boy, we have a few minutes. So I took screenshots of a bunch of questions that I grabbed off of our Facebook page. And you guys have such good questions. Before I jump into this, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of background information about Tiptoe. He's a 21 year old African sulcata tortoise. He's 175 pounds, the third largest breed of tortoise in the world. I got him when I was seven from Santa. I had put him at the very, very top of my list. And we had no concept of how long he would live, how big he would get. We, we were blissfully unaware. But once we got him, we very quickly learned what goes into taking care of one of these big boys. Question number one, have a wonderful day, Tiptoe and Caitlin. How much can Tiptoe eat in a day to maintain his healthy size and of course his happy smile? Mr. T can eat about the size of his shell and food every single day. 75% of his diet is grass and hay, but I mean his shell is, is large. It's like three feet by two feet, somewhere in there. It's, it's pretty large. So he eats a heaping amount of grass and hay. He also gets one leafy green per day and as many flowers as we have available. I would say that the flowers are a main reason why we keep this boy smiling. He loves them, adores them. How old is Tiptoe? Tiptoe is 21. He's gonna be turning 22 in September and we're thinking about throwing him a little party at a park, like a little public park party for the boy. I think it would be so fun and such a great way to meet so many of you guys and get Tiptoe engaging with everybody. I think everybody needs a little bit of Tiptoe in their life, so what a better way to celebrate number 22. You mentioned a growth spurt recently. What do you guesstimate Tiptoe will max out at weight-wise? So Tiptoe's 175 pounds now, and the largest recorded sulcata, I believe is like 235. They're in a zoo in India. Amazing, so cool. <laughs> I had mentioned before that he did have some pretty gnarly growth lines along his shell, but you know, these past few months they've darkened up quite a bit and it looks like this growth spurt is over i don't know if that means that there won't be another one but my guesstimation would be like maybe 182 you know he's growing but he's not i don't know what 182 where did tiptoe originally come from i've seen the pictures with him and caitlin as a kid but isn't it at all possible that he might outlive caitlin if that happens will he get passed down to family so Tiptoe originally, well, originally comes from the East Saharan Desert. I got Tiptoe, or Santa got Tiptoe from Allen's Aquarium in Santa Monica. They move locations, but they're currently on Pico, so you can still go to the same store, which is so cool. I go in every once in a while, check out the baby tortoises, give them a look and reminisce on what used to be. It is very likely that Tiptoe will outlive me, and if that is the case, I don't have children yet, but, the hope is that my children will fall in love with Tiptoe just as I did, and he will stay within the family. Does Tiptoe ever give you attitude? Oh yeah, Tiptoe has so much tude. It's, I mean, it's remarkable really. He, he has a lot of emotions. He has emotions when he's happy, sad, angry, annoyed. Like right now he's totally listening. Yeah, we're talking about you. So yes, yeah, Tiptoe does give me attitude. When that happens, Sometimes he'll like scoot into his shell and like look like he's ready to like come get ya. Doesn't happen very frequently. He's a very happy tortoise, but we all. Does Tiptoe have any junk food outside of the usual greens and flowers? So I guess I would consider fruit Tiptoe's junk food because it's definitely a special treat. It's high in sugar. It can like affect their growth. So I would probably call that our junk food he loves the junk though it's i mean it's still beautiful lovely food but definitely a treat okay does he let you pet him on his head yes he loves little head pets sometimes he'll even stretch his head out even further if he wants you to get further down his neck it's very very sweet i usually wait for him to approach me before i like go in on the scratches just because you never know when he goes on his neighborhood walk about how long do they actually take so they take anywhere from like 45 minutes to an 
hour, hour and a half for our typical walks. You know, that's like one or two blocks. We're not going too far, but he, he, he knows his route, like his route and he goes pretty quickly. There are some days where we're distracted by neighbors and whatnot, so that'll add more time to it, but he's pretty speedy. I'd say one block, 45 minutes. Does Tiptoe ever take any meds or have to go to the vet? So Tiptoe has had to go to the vet last year. He had a respiratory infection, so we had to take him in. They brought out the stretcher, the whole nine yards. I will insert some clips. But it was quite the adventure, and luckily we do not have to do that very frequently. He's a very healthy boy. Tortoises are extraordinarily resilient. What is your regimen to keep him looking so beautiful and cared for? I've never seen a turtle or tortoise in such beautiful condition and so clean. Thank you so much. That actually makes my heart go pitter patter. Tip is a part of the family now. We spend a lot of time, you know, bathing him, exercising him, but I would say his typical like routine for his looks are a morning soak. We like to keep him hydrated. It helps his skin. It helps the color on his shell. It helps his digestive system. We get everything flowing well. So I would say our main, main thumbs up from routine for looks would have to be a little bit of spa time. Water just, it does everything. It fixes everything in humans and animals. Drink your water, it's very important. Does Tiptoe snore or make any noises? <laughs> I haven't heard him snore in a while, but he does snore. He will snore if he's like totally pooped and He'll hiss if he's kind of in like a bad mood if you're blocking him from like accessing a certain location He may let out a little hiss or two. He farts. He burps He he does all of the goods can and does he ever pull his head and legs into his shell like a turtle does when he's scared but like here, maybe. Oh, see? Aha! Uh -huh. When he's scared or if I like surprise him a little bit, he will put his head in. But for the most part, we're brave. <laughs> what else does Tiptoe do during a standard day? We know he goes on walks, goes in the pool, water, and eats. So those are our main daily activities. Tiptoe actually spends quite a bit of time just relaxing in the yard. He'll find a good spot to uh, <laughs> find a good spot to bask in the sun get some vitamin D and that usually takes a couple of hours out of his day as well so once we get our big activities done it really is like a pretty chill day for him of course there are some days where he's a little bit more active and what I mean by that is if he's, you know, scratching against the side of the house and whatnot, we'll take him out for additional activities, whether that be me sitting with him and doing some like tortoise enrichment, which might be, you know, playing with our red ball or it might be chasing some flowers around the yard. Kind of depends on what mood he's in, but he does, he does like his alone time as well in the sun. Do you attempt to guide him with your feet when you are walking? Yes. That is one of the reasons why I wear my, I call them my tiptoe boots daily when I'm here. Kind of like adds to the outfit. I'm always wearing boots regardless of what I'm wearing for clothing. But those boots help me guide tiptoe when we are on walks and they are amazing. So in guiding him, essentially what I'll do is he'll put his foot up. I'll put my foot under his and I'll kind of like shimmy it around. It works super, super well for us and I am so thankful that we have a, a little tactic like that that we can use to help guide him. Oh, I love this question. Does Tiptoe show affection and if so, how? Tiptoe loves to show affection. He will come up to me, he will rub his shell on me, he will try to sit on my lap. He really does think that he is a petite prince. So, how did Tiptoe get his name? Oh, also love this question. When he walks, he's up on his little tippy toes, which I think is so cute. Plus at the time that I got Tiptoe, I was a beanie baby fiend and my brother had a rap beanie baby named Tiptoe. And you know, I'm a younger sister. I like to, I like to, you know, poke the bear a little bit. So it was my brother's favorite beanie baby and it just worked so well as a name for Big T. Hi honey. I want to know about his healthcare, special vet or medicines. How do you keep him healthy? So like I said before, Tiptoe doesn't frequently go to the vet. However, we have had a, two different vets come to the home to just give him a checkup. Um, like I said, 
they are such resilient animals. We've gotten so lucky with Tiptoe, whether it be because of the climate that we live in or what, but he has been very healthy. Oh, a question about me. Caitlin likes to do when she has some downtime, shop, relax, outdoor activities, etc. My favorite things to do, I love to host. I love to host a good dinner party for my friends. I love to... Uh, I love to walk, I love to read. I don't love to read, that was such a lie. I, I love to cook, I love to have friends over, I love to like just create a scenario where I can have a bunch of people there and everyone's happy, they can forget about their worries, their woes, and that is definitely, that's my thing. I'm a host, host at heart. Has Tiptoe ever interacted with other tortoises of his species or are they solitary creatures? Great question, I love that you included that last part of asking if they are solitary animals because in fact, yes. They are solitary animals. Tiptoe has not interacted with another tortoise and I do want to see that happen one day. However, Tiptoe's a big lad and they're solitary animals. So there's potential that he could be aggressive with another tortoise. We really don't know. So only time will tell. Was Tiptoe attracted to the colors of the fruits and flowers or the smells? I notice everything he eats is very bright. Yes, tortoises have an incredible sense of smell and an incredible sense of incredible eyesight. Welcome, baby. Does Tiptoe have any offspring? So far, Tiptoe's not a daddy, but again, time will tell. I'm not that interested in breeding Tiptoe because there's already so many tortoises that are out there that need homes that like, I just, I can't add to the problem. Like I would love to have baby Tiptoes and I'm never gonna say never, but for right now, I just don't think that that would be very practical for us to be doing. Maybe in the future, Tiptoe would love a girlfriend, I'm sure. So if you've got a lady tortoise, hit my line and let's set something up. Does he bite? Not intentionally. Sometimes when I'm hand feeding him and I get a little bit too close, too adventurous, we'll get a nip or two, but for the most part, he's, he's a sweet guy. He's not, he's making noise over there. He's a sweet guy and he's not making too much noise or he's not being too aggressive. But I'm gonna say that that is our last question because the boy is getting a little ferocious. Oh yeah, you guys asked, is he ever naughty? Hey baby. Um. Oh, what's going on? Hi, bugaboo. Thank you guys so much for watching our little Q&A. If you have any additional questions, write them down below. We're gonna start doing one of these maybe once every two weeks or so, but you guys have such good questions and it gets my wheels turning too. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you have a beautiful Saturday. Love and peace and blessings.